Welcome to You Brew Kombucha. Today we're gonna cover some tips on how to deal with smelly kombucha brewing vessels. If you're a kombucha home brewer, you probably keep your SCOBY hotels and your kombucha brewing vessels at room temperature. Um, and as they're undergoing fermentation, you might notice that they can smell a little bit vinegary or acidic. That's totally normal and a normal part of the fermentation process. That basically means that fermentation is happening and that the yeasts and bacteria in the kombucha culture are turning that sweet tea into kombucha. So it's a really good sign. Um, nothing to be worried about, nothing to be alarmed there. But if you don't like that acidic smell that comes from your kombucha brewing vessels or your SCOBY hotels, I admit it can get pretty pungent at times, especially in hot weather when it's a little bit warmer. Um, I have a few tips on how to minimize those odors. The first of which is pretty simple. Um, it's just keeping it in a well-ventilated area, somewhere with good airflow and a window, just so that those odors aren't trapped in any um, small enclosed spaces. My next tip is to use these activated charcoal packets. Um, you can buy them pretty uh, readily online and they're pretty affordable. Um, what they basically do is they use activated charcoal to absorb moisture and odors from the air and deodorize it without releasing any harmful chemicals or anything that might affect your kombucha brew. Um, if you're really averse to the smell of the acidic kombucha, you might be tempted to cover it up with um, air fresheners, aerosols, or things like plug-in Airwick Glade um, scented products. And I don't recommend doing that only because they do release those fragrances into the air. And if it ends up in your kombucha brew, you don't really wanna be tasting that Glade in your kombucha brewing vessel, unless you're into that, in which case no judgment, but I personally don't like to do that. So I would recommend going the route of using um, products that remove odors from the air without releasing anything into the air that could um, negatively impact your kombucha brew vessels. One other thing that I've recently tried um, is using this um, UV light air purifier, which you plug into the wall and it uses UV light to essentially do the same thing that these charcoal packets do, which is just absorb odors, neutralize them from the air and help purify the air in whatever area that you're plugging them into. This is a little bit more on the pricey side. So if you're looking to save some money, I highly recommend the charcoal packets because I haven't really noticed that much of a difference and effectiveness between the two. Um, it, these are also a lot more, um, they're a lot more convenient because you don't need to plug them in anywhere and you can use them wherever you want. These are also reusable. Um, what you will wanna do is just every one or two months, put them in direct sunlight, which will reactivate or recharge the activated charcoal. And then you can put them back um, near your kombucha brewing vessels, wherever you need those bad odors to be absorbed. Um, with the uh, UV light, uh, air purifier, you do need to buy a new light bulb to replace um, the light bulb every, I think six months or so, but it really depends on which product that you end up buying. So I will link um, all of these products in the description box down below if you're interested in trying them out for yourself. If you have any tips on what you do to help minimize your smelly brews, go ahead and leave a comment down below. And I will also um, plug my book, The Kombucha Crafter's Logbook. If you're interested in a journal with troubleshooting tips and reference materials that you can use to help track your brews and you haven't yet picked this up, I highly recommend giving it a look. I will also put a link down to this book in the description box below. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave me a comment. Happy brewing.